How's it going everybody? It is your boy OG Den and welcome back to the vlog. And today, I'm just kind of chilling, longboarding down this cool trail and stuff, you know, whatever. But I want to revisit the Landiats dinghy because I haven't really been riding it very much recently because I've been testing so many boards. So I figured, how about we revisit a little bit and see what all the hype is about with these Landiats boards. And see if, you know, the extra $40 price compared to some cruiser boards is actually worth it. We're going to check it out, do some extensive testing that was not in the review. And also, I'm just going to like do kind of whatever I feel like because it's the vlog. And since we're with that attitude, check out this really cool spot I just found on this trail. So the past couple months, I've been doing a lot of testing on these cheaper boards that companies have sent me, mainly the company Plation. They've sent me some really awesome, inexpensive, beginner, cruiser type of boards. And because I was so impressed with the quality of them for the price, I've been kind of throwing a couple, you know, sneak disses at Land Yachts, you know, like, is it really worth paying the extra money? So today we're gonna figure that out once and for all. And maybe in the future, I will do a direct comparison with some other cruiser boards. But right now, I just want to get to the bottom of, is it worth spending $140 and upwards on a dinghy and why and who is this for and also you know you guys seem to like videos on the land yet boards so we're gonna make more videos on it okay so compared to the other boards I've been testing recently there are two things that I want to make a note of about this board right now. And the first one is going to be on the board's speed. So this board is currently rocking the bearings it came with, which are Landiat Spaceballs bearings. And at the time of writing the review, I had used the board for about one to two weeks. Not a lot of time to break the bearings in, and they were just, they were about average for me, maybe a little bit above average. But now, after having the board for over three months, the bearings have really broken in since I first gotten them, and they are seriously fast compared to the other boards. The second thing that I really noticed was actually that the stability of the board was a lot better than I've been giving it credit for. Recently, I've been saying because the trucks are so narrow, you know, it's not the greatest and having wider trucks can be a lot more stable. But actually, after riding this board again, I've taken it down some pretty steep and fast hills and I haven't had any problems with instability. And now I'm not saying that you're gonna run into them eventually, because obviously you will, but for everyday, somewhat speedy cruising around stuff, you're really not gonna have any problems. I'm gonna show you some examples of going pretty fast right now and showing you that I'm completely in control. So have fun watching those. So I think another one of the reasons why the stability is not as big of an issue as I made it out to be is because this board has really, really big wheels that stick out over the edges of the board. And that kind of makes up for the smaller trucks. When you turn, the board isn't turning over the wheels. The wheels are kind of turning and giving it more stability than the trucks actually are. So they kind of go hand in hand in that way. Another thing I find that I really like about this particular cruiser is that because it's a narrower cruiser than a lot of them, and because the concave on the sides is really high, when you switch your foot to push and kick position to to gain speed it kind of locks your foot in a little better than other boards and you can also kind of turn a little bit more than that it just kind of like when i'm pushing i'm pushing right now and it feels like it's just more of an extension of kind of my foot so it gives a little more added stability than what i would normally be getting from a different cruiser board that was a little wider for example so that's definitely a bonus for this particular board another thing i didn't realize i had missed until i tried it again were these humongous hogs wheels i don't know the exact size i'll put it on the screen right here but they are awesome. I've run over to these huge sticks with them that sometimes my long boards would struggle with and this board just takes it like a champ goes right over the big sticks. I mean obviously it's gonna mess up on some of the really big cracks and giant like logs and stuff but for your general somewhat large objects it just plows right through them and you don't even notice it even though it's such a small board with small trucks and whatnot. So those are like the two main points with two somewhat smaller points. I'm like very impressed coming from these other cheaper boards and then onto this one. It's got a lot more than I give it credit for. So I'm gonna go back to the car now. I'll meet you guys back there and see you there. Okay, final thoughts on retesting the dinghy cruiser board right now. Number one, I was very impressed with the bearings and the speed of the board compared to a lot of the other boards that I currently have. It was a nice surprise to say the least. And you know, I kind of missed going so fast on my boards and it's, it's pretty fun. I do like it. Second takeaway, it's actually very, very stable 
considering how small these trucks are. These trucks are only 105 millimeters, I believe, but the wheels, as you can see, they stick over the edge of the board, so they provide the needed stability. Um, keep in mind, this is the Plow King thingy, so it has extra large wheels. I don't exactly know how stable the normal ones are, but I can tell you this one right here is pretty stable. Uh, and the final thing I really like is actually the concave of this deck. I don't know if you can see that on here, but so the corners here and on the other side, they're slightly raised, as are the rails, and it makes it so that when you put your foot right here, it's just, it kind of sits right in there. It's like a little pocket for it where it gets wrapped around by the edges. And you can just have your foot straight up like this and cruise around and it's going to feel like an extension of your foot. You're going to feel really locked in and really good. Now, this particular dinghy has a layer of fiberglass inside of it. I don't know how much of a difference maker that does make or if it's the wheels, but it is very smooth over a lot of surfaces. And I definitely miss that from using other boards. And you know, honestly, it's really not a bad board. It is very pricey. This particular one was $180, which is a fairly pretty penny for a cruiser board. But if you want the best of the best, this is going to do it for you. And that's pretty much all I got to say for that. And now, so now what I think I'm going to do is actually, you guys keep telling me, Ogden, please buy an electric longboard. I need to see it on the channel. Go buy an electric longboard. And right now I don't have a lot of money. That might change soon, but right now I don't. So I'm gonna spend like 10 minutes just emailing like 20 different electric skateboard companies, like probably cheap ones, you know, anywhere from $300 and under. And just see if I get any hits of anyone that wants to send me one to review and make videos on. So I will update you guys on my Instagram if you wanna follow me right here. I will update you if any of them respond back and if they wanna send me some. So make sure to follow me there. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Hopefully you found it useful and liked it. If you really liked the video, I'd appreciate hitting the like button or leaving a comment if you have any questions. And if you do decide that you would like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it because, you know, I only got so much water left in this water bottle. So anyways, thanks everyone for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video on Wednesday. Peace out.